Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, we're going to be breaking down some news. Uh, I di wasn't able to break down this Solstice event, uh, though very excited about it. Um, it's been really fun. I think uh, the, the night and day splits have been very interesting. There, there were some issues with it, you know, especially in the beginning part of the event. But it's been very fun. A lot of fun. Um, have I gotten any shinies from this event? Let's go ahead and get into the game, actually, as we talk about some of this. Um, so, very, very excited. Also, thank you everyone who's been blowing up the channel recently. Uh, all the new subscribers, hello, hi, how you doing? Um, In-game, if we go recent, we haven't really gotten like anything like fun or like anything spicy. Um, yeah, no, just Krabby from during the uh, water event. So nothing during this event. Uh, I've done a couple of Nihiligo raids, but no shinies, obviously. Uh, and no good ones, unfortunately. I do have some eggs incubating, so I'm excited about that. But the big one is going to be the new news. Yes, news. Or I guess just news. Um, more stuff in the uh, bonus you know, the web store, uh, Pokemon Go teaming up with Amazon Prime some more, so that's nice. Uh, they've announced the trainers, like, for uh, meetups and GoFest for London and New York, which is always fun. Mega Rayquaza arrives in Pokemon Go. Oh my god! And they really are doing phenomenal jobs with these, like, little mini videos that they put out. Very, very fun. Um, so... Mega Rayquaza will be making its debut in London, Osaka, and New York, and then globally during the Glow, Glow Fest, Go Fest Global at the end of August. So, oop, wrong button. Alright, so, they're going to be introducing a new item in Pokemon uh, Go called a Meteorite. So this Meteorite is going to be uh, the way you use, like, a TM? but only for Iquaza and only to learn the move Dragon Ascent. Once it gets this Dragon Ascent move, then and only then can it make it evolve. Now, the cool thing is uh, that when you Mega Evolve, it's going to be kind of like Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre, how they, uh, <clears throat> how Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon kind of mimic their weather conditions that would be uh, boosting them, so rain and sun, and how Kyogre uh, mimics rain and boosts all rain Pokemon, and uh, Kyogre does the same thing for sun, Rayquaza will be doing the same thing, but for windy weather. So all flying, psychic, and dragon type Pokemon. So it's going to be great for um, really any events that you need flying, psychic, or dragon type candies for. Uh, so it'll be boosting those candies when you're out in the wild trying to get those. Uh, when you increase Mega Rayquaza's Mega Level, you'll eventually be able to uh, increase your chances of getting Candy XL, as well as boosting those types of Pokemon in raids. So that's very cool. Pokemon Go Fest 2023 in-person events. So when attending, uh, you'll be able to go into the Mega Raids and then uh, get Mega Energy. Now it does say that uh, anyone can challenge Mega Rayquaza in raids, but only the ticket holders will be able to get Mega Energy. So we'll see how that is. I know that the raids in the past for um, some in-person events were kind of broken, kind of busted, um, such as uh, Las Vegas. Um, but usually for GoFest, they do a pretty good job. So very excited about this. There will also be a special research story as well as just research in general uh, for the ticket holders to get the meteorites. These meteorites, again, are the only way you're going to be able to get Dragon Ascent, which Dragon Ascent plus the Mega Energy for Mega Rayquaza is the only way you'll be able to get Mega Rayquaza. We'll, we'll have to see how good Dragon Ascent actually is. Does it say anywhere in here? It does not. So we'll see how good Dragon Ascent is. Will it actually be better than Outrage? Will it be good? Will it actually make Mega Rayquaza that good? Or will you have to 
spend 75, is it 70, no, it's a legendary, 100,000 Stardust to get a second move to keep your Outrage Rayquaza. We will see. Um, but yeah, very cool. And then Global Go Fest, uh, they'll be making its raid debut on Sunday of the uh, Global Go Fest. So that's very, very cool. Now, in other cool news, dive into darkness or set your heart ablaze. Wrong anime. Let your flame blaze in the new Dark Flames event. Very, very cool. Very excited about this because I love Sableye. I have had a Hundo Sableye that I've used in Great League for a while, like a long time since like OG like Great League. It was like one of my first big investments in Great League. So I'm really excited about having Mega Sableye here, but also Turtonator? Let's go turn up for Turtonator. I love Turtonator. Turtonator is going to be a Fire and Dragon type Pokemon. It is going to be released with its shiny available, which happens so rare, but it's, uh, yes, let's go. Shiny Turtonator is also very good shiny, so I'm very excited about that as well. But just this whole event is really cool. I love Fire-type Pokemon, and generally Dark-type Pokemon are pretty cool. So this whole event is just, it fits my aesthetic. Um, so let's freaking go. Um, all the lore kind of like, oh, hyping it up, blah, 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 blah. Into the actual thing now. Thursday, June 29th, so just in, what is this, like a week? In a, in a little less than a week, the Dark Flames event goes live, and it lasts until Sunday, July 2nd. So, bit of a shorter event, so get them while you can. Debut of Shiny Turtonator. Let's go. Mainly in the raids, also in research. Uh, Mega Sableye will be making its debut. Of course, you can always get your shinies um, from the raids, so that's very cool. Mega Sableye, not going to do a whole bunch. There are better ghost type Megas and better dark type Megas. However, it won't be taking super effective damage uh, from psychic type Pokemon like Mega Gengar will. Uh, and if you watched my uh, super effective video over there, you can see all those type matchups. That video, by the way, is doing very well. Thanks, guys. Uh, and so I guess I'll have to be making a resistances video at some point. But, Wild Encounters for the Dark Flames event, Vulpix, Hondaur, Puchiana, Galarian Zigzagoon, Carvana, Nummel, Litwick, all can be shiny. Stunky and Litten will also be around, so that's kind of cool. Uh, there's some good ones in here. Vulpix is a great shiny, Houndour has a Mega, um, Obstagoon is great in uh, Go Battle League. The Evolve forms of Carvana and Nummel both actually will be getting Mega evol Evolutions at some point, so that's very cool. Uh, Chandelure is obviously a great Pokemon. Uh, Skunk Tank is actually not too bad in Great League. And then Litten will eventually be a community day Pokemon, so getting a good Hundo ready for that is going to be cool. Also in the wild, Houndoom and Sableye, both of which can be shining, both of which are previous Megas. So that's very, very cool. In the raids, uh, the one star regular raids will be Sneasel, Darmaka, Scraggy, and Dino. Or Dino. Uh, Darumaka, I still need like a Hundo or a Shiny or a Shundo would be dope. Three star raids, my boy Alolan Mar Marowak comes around. Also, Umbreon and Flareon will be around. As well as, of course, debut Turtonator can be shiny. Five star raids, Heat Ran with Magma Storm. Let's go, getting a little buff to Heat Ran there. Um, should be pretty good. I haven't done a full breakdown yet, but should be pretty good. And then, of course, Mega Raid will be Mega Sableye. Event bonuses are actually going to be pretty good as well, with 25% uh, XP increase for completing raids. So really kind of like incentivizing doing those raids, which is nice. Uh, All right, so you will also be getting three additional candy per uh, raid as well, which is going to be super nice and really good for uh, powering up Turtonator quick, quicker or, you know, any other Pokemon that you're going to be raiding, uh, such as if you've never had Heat Ran before, and hurting for candies, boom, let's go. Uh, of course, as always, XL candies for trainers level 31 and up. Uh, also, Team Go Rocky Grunts will be having more fire and dark type Pokemon. Always nice, always cool to have uh, some interesting things with Team Go Rocket snuck in there. Depending on uh, 
And then there's going to be some split uh, stuff for time research, which is kind of cool. Uh, incense for fire or incense for dark type, which is very cool. Um, a branching time research, like I said, very cool. Different paths for either fire or dark type Pokemon, but also 15k, not 1.5, 15k XP. Um, which is nice. Some premium battle passes as well as encounters with event themed Pokemon. So probably a Turtonator chance in there. So very cool. Make sure to be doing the timed research. Um, field research task also. We'll be having some more Dark and Fire types. Uh, Alone Meowth, uh, can, it has a great shiny, um, but the rest of these are really nice. Alolan Muck, great for Go Battle League. Alolan Marowak, my boy. Also great for Go Battle League. Uh, Magmortar is not a bad Fire-type Pokemon, and I've actually had some mixed results in Ultra League with Magmortar. Um, Sneasel, Weavile is a top-tier Dark and a top-tier Ice-type attacker. Uh, Chandelure, top-tier Ghost, top-tier Fire-type uh, attacker. And Turtonator, which is going to be super cool. Love Turtonator. And then there will also be a Collection Challenge, which will be also giving some XP as well as 100 Houndoom Mega Energy, which is really nice. And that is all the new stuff. We'll see um, how good Dragon Ascent as well as Magma Storm are for Mega Rayquaza and for Heatran, uh, respectively. But I'm very excited, and let's freaking go. Some new Shinies, some new Pokemon, and just... More hype for GoFest. Like, we thought Mega Rayquaza was coming, but the confirmation, let's go. Very excited. Just booked my flight, so everything is nice and ready to go. I'm excited. Ah. Anyways, if you did like this episode, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And, as always, God bless, and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.